Hello everyone and welcome to Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. My name is Shawnee. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be continuing our Gnome Week series and today we're going to be doing a teacup gnome for Mother's Day. Super excited about this one, guys. I've done them in the past, and they get rave reviews. They're quick, they're easy, and they are beautiful. Great conversation piece. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of pool noodle, and this is cut to four inches long, okay? And we have a piece of material. I purchased this at Walmart this lemon material. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the prettiest they make. Love this material. We're simply going to take, this is nine by nine. We're simply going to take, and we're going to put some hot glue right here on our pool noodle. It's right there. Okay, we're going to run it back. We're going to just like that. And we're going to continue to pick it up and we're just going to roll it trying to keep it as straight as possible on the way if it overlaps that is absolutely fine in fact that'll give it some extra security as we go then as we reach the end of the roll we just want to go ahead and take our hot glue and we want to run a bead right down through here like so okay and we're just going to roll it over just like that it's that simple so on the bottom what you want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to cut some slits okay you don't need many just a few it's going to make it easier to fold down with our hot glue just like that we're going to put some hot glue right here on the ring of our pool noodle I'm just going to do a couple for now. I want this to lay nice and flat. Just like so. These are so cute. And Mother's Day, you could make these for Father's Day. We're going to do a Father's Day one as well. Coming up closer to Father's Day. Just like that. If you'd like to use your finger protectors and or your spatula for this, I'd highly suggest doing so. Just like that. Okay. Now, for the top. Isn't that cute? I just think that is so cute. It screams lemon. For the top, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. It's your choice how long to leave this. Okay. Then I'm going to take one of our elastics. Use these little elastics from the Dollar Tree. Guys, these have been the best thing. They come like a thousand to a pack. They're awesome. So we're just going to tie this up here like so. We need some kind of structure above for our teacup to sit on. Okay, just like this. I think this is absolutely adorable. We'll leave that in the back and we'll make this our front okay now we're gonna make this a girl gnome because it's for Mother's Day and I thought that would be perfect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take I made this braid for her hair okay and I just took one of the Dollar Tree heads I buy these separately from the stick and I literally just take three of them guys and I just start braiding right down right like so this makes it easier and I just cut it off the part and I only use what I need so it just makes it so so easy just like this so we're going to go ahead and we're going to braid this and I'm going to get one of my elastics and we're going to put it right on the end Okay, I'm going to go up here with a good pair of scissors. You need a good pair of scissors for this, as close as I can get. And there we go. Now, I'm just going to put yet another elastic right here. And 
then you want to determine which you want to be the bottom and which you want to be the top and we need some length in her little braids we just do we're going to straighten these up in a little bit but we do need some length in her little braids so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cut this off just a little bit right here because this will be for what we're going to attach to her okay now let's get ready to put her on her little base now this is going to be her base i think these are so adorable now guys these are vintage these are very vintage and i think they're just beautiful i purchased this at the volunteers of america is where i got this i just got it last week i don't know why i'm having such a hard time remembering now you do not want to put your little gnome right in the center and there is a reason for that okay we're going to set it kind of off a little bit to the back okay just like that okay you want to glue them right back there you can use your e6000 for a permanent hold and use your glue your hot glue for a temporary hold now for time purposes i'm not going to get out my e6000 and all that guys we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put our glue on this from our hot glue gun okay just like this much as you want there we go okay and it's going to adhere pretty quickly to the glass okay just like so okay you want to hold it there for a second all right now just like that now let's see okay of course her little hat's gonna be the cup so let's see how it's gonna go okay just like so just like that we're gonna kind of slant it is what we're gonna do guys so you can be able to see your little nose when we get it on there what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead you could do this with many teacups as well mini ones I bet you that would be fantastic I bet you that would be exceptionally cute okay let's see let's put her little braids kind of close to her little face so we're going to put them about right there how I'm going to do this I'm going to take my hot glue I'm going to run a bead right here okay right on there just like that right there we're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side just like this and remember guys when i said i wanted to clean up her little braids that's what we're going to do right now even these out give a nice little haircut here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try i'm going to attempt to unravel them Just like that. I think that's so cute. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put these, the ends of these, I want them tacked down a little bit better. You will want to grab your spatula or your finger protectors for this because this is going to get hot. But this is going to help our teacup when we put it on for our hat. It's going to help the structure lay like we want it to. The cup it's going to help it lay like we want it to because it gives it this bulk right here and we can set it better so just like that okay a little bit of hot glue these are so simple you guys and they are so cute this is one of my favorites the teacup gnome has absolutely been one of my favorites to make because you can set these anywhere. They're a great conversation piece. And again, they just make a great gift. Okay. And you can keep trying your cup as you go, guys. See, that's just so cute. That just gives such a statement. Love it. Just like that. So cute. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to put her nose on. 
put the nose on guys I wasn't liking the way the hat was sitting the teacup was sitting so what I'm going to do is I've taken just a spool a spool I'm so sorry just a string of the mop and I've wrapped it around where we put our band to join it together up here to close it and I'm just going to put this right here this makes it more secure on the head okay on the hat I should say like so yeah see that's better much much better okay now for the nose now I purchased these beads at Meyer last year on sale now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our little hat on like it's gonna set now do we want a big nose it's pretty big do we want a little nose that's probably better. Or do we want a small nose? Not digging the small one, guys, I got to tell you. So I think what we're going to do, maybe the medium one. There we go. That's good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach her nose. Make sure where we want it. Do we want it up more or do we want it down? Let's have it up more, actually, guys, about right there. Okay? So I'm going to mark this spot. I'm going to take my hot glue. Okay, we're going to right here, right, nice and centered. Quickly, we're going to get up like this, and we're going to go, and we're going to attach our nose, just like that. You're going to have to hold this a little bit. Guys, if you would like to use some sewing glue for this, seam glue, that is absolutely fine. You will have to hold it a little bit, so I would suggest putting some hot glue maybe on the sides of that but not mixing the two this is so cute and the embellishments are just adorable wait till you see our embellishments today I'm pretty excited about those as well so just like that okay and there is her nose now let's see how that's gonna go how cute is that oh my goodness love it Okay, so what we're going to do now, let's go ahead and glue her hat on, which is the teacup, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. How we're going to do that? We're going to go around the rim of our piece, right around it back to right around here do not do the front though do not do the front what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to put this on like so okay that glue is going to stick in there we're going to kind of tilt it guys we kind of want it tilted okay you do not you could put a tab of glue here if you wanted to but i'm not going to do so i do not want it to show this is absolutely adorable now For the embellishments for her hat, we're going to do those last because that is just the showstopper here. Now, I want to decide whether we're going to put shoes on her or not. Now, these are just the little Dollar Tree shoes, and I did paint them black quite a while ago because I was trying to decide. When you see our last embellishment for her at the bottom, you'll see what I mean. Now, we're going to see. I don't want to glue them on. I just want if they'll stay for me. I want to see if they're going to stay. You know, guys, I'm not real sure I want those on there. Let's see. You know, I don't think so. I think we're going to omit the shoes today. And for our embellishment for our little teacup gnome. Right there. That's it. The lemon. I think this is absolutely adorable. What I'm going to do, now this lemon has that stem, and I love it. It makes it look natural, right? We're going to set it like this. I'm going to take some hot glue. I'm going to put this hot glue right here. Okay? Good amount of it. And I'm going to take this. I want this stem to show in the back there, but we want our lemon to kind of set up just like it is. It just looks so natural and pretty. We're going to hold it a second. And there we go. How adorable is that? Can you guys see this? It's absolutely adorable.
So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our hat embellishments on. Okay. Now I made earlier this ribbon I purchased at Hobby Lobby last week. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it. And I purchased this lacy, it's real popular, from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I love it. I think it's adorable. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some of this on our hat. Not too much. I don't want it gaudy. I just want it to look natural and pretty. So we're going to go, let's see, let's go about mm, like that. Okay. And what I did, guys, is I just literally, I doubled the ribbon and I pinched it in the center. You can do this to your choice. I mean, however you want to do this. Let me see. I'll measure this for you. I made it to where it wouldn't be too big for our piece. Okay. And it is three inches across. It's three inches across. Okay. We're going to put it right here. But first, I want a backing, okay? And I think I want to use this because it's so cute. So we want to put this on first. Now, how we're going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie a little bit of jute to the center of this. We can't put in elastic because the hot glue will melt our elastic, as I have learned in the past. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tie this in the center. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place it. But again, guys, please use your silicone spatula and or your finger protectors for this. It is so hot. This gets hot. Okay, so just like that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab our protector here, just like this. Oh, my word, is this cute. I know I say this a lot, but this is my favorite by far the best one yet. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the little bow I made earlier and we're going to place it right in the center of our lacy ribbon from Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right on here like so. We're going to put this right in the center just like that. Okay, adorable. You'll want to pull off all your glue strings and things like that as you go or when you're finished either or okay this girl is absolutely adorable what do you think i think she's so cute okay now what we're going to do for a final touch actually a second to the last final touch we're going to take some jute twine Okay, just a little bit of jute twine. I don't want to go too far with this. So, but I want her to have some little bows down here on her little braids. Okay, so I've taken just a little bit of jute twine. I'm simply going to tie a bow around the end right here, just like this. Little shoestring bow, nothing fancy on the other side. Now I'm taking some foliage wire ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby guys and what I'm going to do is I'm just putting this on here I'm cutting it to size just for add a little extra something in the bow area and I'm just hot gluing this on just like so okay just like this we're going to hot glue this on right behind the bow friends by far, again, one of my favorite that I've ever created. The detail on this little gnome is absolutely awesome. She is so cute. And if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Thank you for joining me for another episode in Gnome Week. We'll see you next time. Bye.